Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to generate a molecular graph in our radicate and access its atoms and bonds. For more information, you can take a look at uh, RD kit uh, documentation. Uh, if you click over here, you'll see the RD kit uh, documentation. But in this case, I will be focusing on uh, how to generate molecular graph from a smile and get its atoms and bond properties. Okay, so to do that, we need to import these libraries from RD kit and also we need to import numpy and uh, pandas okay so to run a cell usually you need to press uh, shift plus enter so we imported all these uh, libraries so we can uh, use this function cam mole from smiles to convert smile strings into mole objects say for instance if you start with uh, ethanol if you use ethanol as your smile cco So this is a molecular graph of ethanol. If you want to make it uh, eight oxide, eight oxide ion, you have to just put a charge on oxygen. So that is eight oxide ion. If you make it uh, acetate ion, you have to put a double bond with parenthesis. So this uh, double bond will be bonded to this double bond is oxygen will be bonded to this carbon so that you'll have this acetate ion how do we access atoms and their features from a molecular graph in general an atom has uh, many properties right it has atomic symbol it has index it has um, atomic number atomic mass hybridization and so on so there are many features that we can access from the molecule from the mole object to access atoms you have to use mole and then get atoms this function and then you to you need to specify the index of the atom and you need to get that property say for instance if you want to get atomic number you have to use this function get atomic number index zero so if i run this i will get the atomic number of the uh, the atom at index zero at index zero is carbon this one okay so you can get uh, the atomic number of uh, uh, carbon if you put one you'll get the atomic number of the second carbon if you make it uh, say two if you make it two uh, you can access the atomic number of oxygen which is eight and if you make it three you can access the atomic number of the second oxygen which is the same thing eight we have only four atoms so usually the number starts from zero the index in this at uh, three so if you make it uh, four, what will happen is you'll get an error because it is out of the index. So uh, this is an error. So now let's put it back to three and then you'll have oxygen. So this is how you access the property of the atom by just getting its index and then uh, calculate its property. Atomic number, atomic mass, um, hybridization, and so on. Uh, but there is a better way to do it the better way to do it is using a loop so generally you can use a for loop to access atoms and then uh, get their properties a for loop is usually created in python first you have to create an mpt uh, list over here and then you have to use a for loop say for instance for atom in mole that's a mole object get atoms right and then uh, you need to append um, each property to this uh, mpt list so atom symbols this is your mpt list append atom get symbol so what it does is it will append the atomic symbol of uh, each atom to this mpt list so if i run this one okay so it appended the uh, atomic symbol of the atoms there are four atoms the first one carbon carbon then oxygen oxygen okay or you can achieve this using a list comprehension just using a single line of code that's uh, the beauty of uh, python so what you can do is you can put in uh, a square uh, bracket say atom get atomic symbol for atom in mole get atoms if you do this you'll get the same thing but in this case this is shorter so say for instance the first uh, for loop 
you have at least uh, three lines of uh, code but here you'll have only one line of code if i run this i'll get the same thing okay they should be the same so you can use uh, a for loop or a list comprehension to access uh, the atomic properties or to calculate atomic features from the mole object i can do the same thing say for instance you can calculate the number of uh, hydrogen atoms bonded to the atom uh, using this function get total number of hydrogens include neighbors true okay so if you use this function you can get all the hydrogens bonded to each atom so the first one is uh, ch3 so there are three hydrogens but the other atoms they don't have hydrogen so that's why you got uh, this so these are some of the properties that you can print using a for loop say for instance the atomic properties like uh, the index atomic symbol you can get atomic number uh, you can get atomic mass you can get hybridization of the atom you can get formal charge and so on so you, you can see all the possible atomic features using this uh, for loop okay so this gives you the index 0 1 2 3 and then these are the symbol of the atoms this is the atomic number this is the hybridization of the atoms and then uh, this is a formal charge the degree and so on uh, similarly you can access bonds of the mole object and also the properties of the bond say for instance um, you can apply the same thing you can use a list comprehension but the function that helps you to get bonds is you need to use this function get bonds in the case of atoms if you remember you have to use get atoms this function but for bonds you have to use get bonds and i think it makes sense you can calculate say for instance uh, type of bond is it double bond single bond or triple bond you can access that one using get bond type as double bond so this gives you the type of bond either single double or triple so the first one there is a single bond there is also a double bond and there is a single bond so if you go back uh, and take a look at the structure of the molecule so you have two single bonds and there is one double bond or it, as usual you can calculate uh, any properties using uh, for loop the take home message here is you can convert a smile into a mole object or any other representation of molecules you can convert them into a mole object using that mole object you can access uh, bond properties as well as atom properties if you want to calculate the molecular properties uh, you can create a function and generate molecular properties so for instance in this case you can calculate molecular weight of the molecule uh, the log p total polar surface area hydrogen donors and hydrogen acceptors you can create this in pt lists and fill them with their uh, properties uh, using a for loop so in this case for instance um, it will accept smiles and it will convert all these smiles into molecular graph and each molecular graph you can calculate molecular weights okay the first one is the molecular weight and then the log p uh, total polar surface area number of hydrogen acceptors number of hydrogen uh, donors and then you can return that list from this function if i run this one say for instance and if i if i pass uh, smiles say for instance this is smiles one two three four five smiles i will get their uh, properties so um, these are the smiles so i'm passing these smiles into the function this is a function and i will get uh, the molecular weights so low p total polar surface area hydrogen donors and hydrogen acceptors so if i run this and uh, let me see the values so these are the values um, so if you look at the values you'll see 45 44 this is the second one 46 is the third one 78 is the fourth one and so these are the molecular weights the next one should be log p so to make it more readable uh, we have to use a numpy v stack so we can stack them using v stack and then let me show you what it means if you use v stack uh, you will get this the first row contains the smiles and the second row their molecular weight if you transpose this one so what you'll get yeah you'll get uh, the first column contains the smiles the second column contains the molecular weight and so on so we can put columns on them so these are column names let me put the column names 
uh, if you put that column names into a data frame so you need to put the, the stacked values as data values in the column names this ones you need to pass that one as column names then you'll get a data frame that's really uh, easy to understand so so you have the numbers over here you have smiles you have molecular weights log p total polar surface area hydrogen donors so hydrogen acceptors hydrogen donors so you'll have uh, this uh, nice table if you want to calculate all the available molecular descriptors there are 200 molecular dis descriptors I have another video you can take a look at that one you can take a look at uh, the video or there is also a notebook with that if you like this video please subscribe the channel thank you